Hello and welcome fellow students to XCU. I'm PJ O'Keefe. We have a very special episode for you this week. Uh, today we have four expert panelists. There's three of us. To join, I'm myself included, four expert panelists joining us here to give us a rundown of the Xavier men's basketball season thus far. Let's meet our guests. You already know the rootin' tootin' Texan, Wilmar Monty. Yeehaw. And we, next we have the tallest man ever to be on Xavier television, Kyle Isaac. Thanks, PJ. Right, Kyle, you doing good? I'm doing well. Doing thanks well? Thanks for having me. Oh, thanks for coming. And finally, we have the man who makes a mean iced tea, Martin Lipton. What's going on, Martin? It's going pretty good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you don't have to thank me, guys. It's cool. We're, this is all kind of joint. All right, guys. So this is the way this works. Uh, I'm going to give you a topic. We're going to discuss it one at a time. It's kind of like uh, you know, just a little panel discussion here, Socratic discussion, as you know, some philosophers may say. Um, I'm going to give you points, extremely objective points, of course. I don't uh, don't discriminate here. It's a lie. And uh, the winner gets bragging rights for the next two months, just because. Let's kick it off with opening statements about the season. So far, Xavier is 7-0. Oh. Um, we've had a couple of good wins. We've had a couple of setbacks, too. How are you feeling about the season? Will? I'm feeling great about the season. Uh, I think, uh, you know, anytime you're 7-0, anytime you're oh, you can't really complain too much. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I, I don't know if there's many big plays. You know, there's some setbacks every now and then. No team's perfect. And I think we're going to run into some troubles when teams pressure us. But uh, we'll, we'll get to that in due time. In due time. Kyle, what do you think? How are we doing? I am actually really impressed with the team right now because being a young freshman team, most, most of the position players are freshmen. I feel like we've dealt with pressure, though we need to improve on our turnovers and uh, improve definitely. on the defense. Definitely, definitely valid points. Martin? I, cannot, I can agree with Kyle. You know, we have a young team. They're showing a lot of promise here, but we need to step it up in the later games. Turning over the ball 22 times just will not cut it. So we need to do that against Duke. That is extremely true. Uh, we'll see how that game goes um, when we get to that point. Um, we've had, uh, let's see, what are the highlights of the season so far? We've had um, numerous amounts of, of, uh, of close calls, as you could say, um, at, least, uh, at least in Puerto Rico we did. Um, but things are looking good. Let's start off next question. Terrell Holloway was injured in Puerto Rico, where we um, did very well for ourselves. Beat up on Memphis, beat up on, uh, well, maybe not beat up, but we beat Memphis. We beat, um, who else did we beat? Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech? Yeah. yeah, Missouri. 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 Thanks, guys. <laughs> you're, the, you're the expert panelist here. Uh, we got back from Puerto Rico, victors of the tournament. Well done, guys. We really had no right being in that last game. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, yes, we did. What do you think about Holloway's <laughs> well, well, last second shot? Down here, Jake. Win's a win. Uh, win is a win. Wild point. How do you think about um, Holloway's absence? How is that going to affect us, Kyle? I think it's only going to make the team grow more because I think you're going to see more of Brad Redford use this point. Uh, Dante Jackson will improve as point guard as he's been showing the last couple weeks with using the three-point shot, which I think is, is his best shot. Um, and I think the team's only going to grow. And then when he comes back, it's going to be even better. Dante's been improving on defense, but uh, Redford needs to step that up probably a little bit. Martin, what do you think? I honestly think that Terrell Holloway having hit 17 free throws in a row, that's a huge mark on us, especially the fact that you know we've been – Let's see, the last game we were 25, uh, during Memphis, 25 to 37 when he was in. Last game, we weren't as good. We only hit seven, uh, 22 of 30 from free throw. You know, having him hit the 17 in a row, that really helps us out. And also, he's a big voice out there on the, on the uh, court. So. He's solid. He's a young, energetic player. Uh, it's definitely going to be missed. Free throws will be a problem for us. Will, what are you thinking? Um, I'm going to have to disagree with Kyle here. Uh, I don't uh, think uh, you gain by subtracting. Um, Holloway really uh, has stepped it up. He's been the big surprise this year. Um, I think he's been um, just as impactful as Freeze, if not more, because he's got to run the offense. Um, the one thing we're lacking really is a big one true point guard. Dante's done a great job. He's done a lot better than I thought he would do. Um, but when you see our struggles bringing the ball up and stuff like that, um, and sometimes we get lost in the half court game, Holloway has shown that um, he's, he's the one true point guard so far this year. I think we're really going to miss him. Um, Redford's okay, but he's, uh, he doesn't have, I don't think he's at the place Hallway is. It's tough replacing Drew Lavender, unfortunately. Uh, that is the realization of college basketball. But we press on. Next up, Xavier's had an Achilles heel in breaking the full court press in tight games late in the second half. This was evident in Xavier's 81-74 win over Auburn. But we kind of barely squeezed out of there. Is that our biggest weakness, Martin? I think it's one of our biggest weaknesses. We need to really focus on the free throws, you know, basically transition is a big problem with us. Free throws, like I said, turn it over the ball. We do that against Duke, like I said earlier in the show. We'll be looking at a 40-point loss we if do that, we do that. Do that against anybody, we're going to be in trouble. Will? 
Uh, I'm going to have to agree with the free throws. Uh, however, I do believe uh, breaking the press is our big problem. It was our big problem uh, in the tournament last year. Whenever we struggled, teams would press us and we'd struggle. And that was with Drew Lavender. Um, so uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be tough if we can't beat that press. Again, there's there's Holloway again. He's he's uh, probably one of our best ball handlers. We're going to miss him down the stretch. Hopefully, though, we get him back. He wants to be back for UC. So hopefully, we get him back for that, and uh, I'll be good. It is still early in the season, so we will be able to take care of our problems if we lose a game or two here. That might not shut us off from other things. Kyle, what are you thinking? I really think that half-court defense is where the turnovers come. I think you notice they get trapped, they use a timeout, which ultimately will hurt the team in the long run. Definitely. And I feel, though, that just our transition defense is not there. Um, when somebody goes and scores a bucket, I think it, they need to hustle back and guard their man, because as we saw against Auburn, they came back really quickly on a quick three-point shot. So the transition defense needs to be there as well. Yes, they did, and they had nice-looking shoes, too.